Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to Napoleon Total War, the return of the Swiss Confederacy campaign. And I believe this is part 28, so here we are on the campaign map, and it's great to be back playing this campaign. One of my favourite campaigns I've ever played in the Total War series, to be honest. It's been a great campaign thus far. It's been about two months since I last recorded an episode, but it is great to finally be back playing this great campaign with the Swiss. So we need a quick quick overview of where we are. So we have Athens, we have Belgrade, we have Zagreb, Venice and Luzerne. So we have a nice spine across uh, Switzerland right down to Greece. Nice little defensive spine. We better check our diplomatic relations. If I remember correctly the French are still allies with us but that could be changing soon. Yes, the French are allied Spain are allied. We have trade with the French, which is great. We have trade with Württemberg, which is good as well. And Italy are very friendly and allied. Our enemies are Sweden, Sicily, Naples, Austria and Russia. So all of this uh, part of the map we're against. Um, oh, wrong button. Objectives. So we need to take 20 territories. We currently have five victory regions that are held. We need 11 actually victory regions, but we need 20 overall. I see what I mean. So I need to get all of these red ones, which are unfortunately held by the French Empire mainly. So war will be inevitable with the French, unfortunately. The fr <laughs> oh god, <laughs> yeah, the heart attack. Look at all this map over here. God, the life. Look at the size of the French Empire. Okay, that's not good. Uh, Wuttenberg, I would like to attack Wuttenberg eventually. Um, not much we can do about that at the moment. Okay. Wuttenberg, who are they at war with? Oh, they're allies with the French, that's what I didn't want. Okay, um, we've got this Eastern War at the moment. I'm not in a position to attack the French. My spy is going somewhere, it looks like. I'm setting up here, that's okay. Um, looks like we're at the end turn phase as well from my last video. Russia town, reinforcing the town here in Bucharest. What armies do I have? Balkans, I have a decent enough army. Should be okay. And um, we are recruiting as well, which is good. Um, so we'll probably give it a turn or two to let our army build up. I believe we don't have a navy. Or maybe we do. What's over here? We have one ship. Okay, that's not good. I'll probably recruit in there as well. Okay, so I seem to have everything covered, so I can probably end turn for this new episode of the Swiss Confederacy campaign. Eventually, we're going to have to go to war with France, and it's going to be brutal, and it's going to be absolutely bloody, so it's quite a scary thought, actually. <laughs> oh my god. They own, they own an awful big proportion of the map. They have modern day France, they have Belgium, modern day Germany, uh, there we go. Just don't worry about that for now. We're still friends with them at the moment, that's good. Uh, la, la, la. Where are we? We recruit in here. Um, can we actually build anything in here? Construction, we can have barracks. Problem is Switzerland don't tend to have much in the way of uh, anything decent to build. We can build some things like a supply warehouse. Oh, it gives me a Swiss Jaeger. Could be handy, especially if the French uh, decide to attack me. So we're just going to build a few things at the moment. Build and rebuild. Uh, everything is okay in Greece, by the looks of things. We do have a reasonable size force here. I could recruit some militia, but I'm not, not going to do that at the moment. Um, if we check our diplomatic relations, basically all of this is good, all of the red is bad, which is pretty standard for Total War games. Um, I want to take some of these Russian provinces. If I can build you know, a decent sized kind of kingdom or empire in the in the east, then perhaps go as far as Istanbul, Bucharest, 
perhaps go up here, take some of these provinces, then sway back around and start attacking the French from this side. That's my my plan. Hope, hopefully it'll it'll work. I doubt it will, but I can't blame a guy for trying. Um, what's this for here? Oh, we're rebuilding that. That's okay. Um, Army-wise, we're still rebuilding. We're still healing. A few turns to go. Shouldn't be too long. Um, my spy. What is my spy doing? Come on, spy. You come over here. I want you to go to Transylvania. I have another spy over here. Check out Bucharest for me. How well defended is Bucharest? Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be a tough war in the east. It's not going to be easy at all. Um, I think we can end turn again. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things at the moment. Trying to remember where where I am with uh, this campaign. It has been two months since I last recorded a part, so I'm still trying to familiarise myself. I remember now that um, the French are dominant, which I think happens in most people's Napoleon Total War campaign, because the French army is so so overpowered in this game. Um, Britain still holds Britain, Spain still holds Spain, so not much movement there, but France just steamrolled all of Europe. I wouldn't mind if Württemberg attacked me and the French sided with me. That would be good because it gives me another province to take in Europe. And I need to get as much provinces, as many provinces in Europe as I can. If I could take Württemberg there, then I have three provinces in close proximity, which gives me a chance to fend in off against the French on that part of the map. Uh, that's in there. See, it's not worth building any barracks as such at the moment. I can't even. I can enlist a general, which will be handy. Uh, superior general. Oh, it costs so much. Soldier from birth. Uh, I'm just going to go for one of the cheap generals. Looks like I have to anyway. Os Oscar Reichmann. You are my new general. You should go there. My spy can. Slowly go towards Transylvania. And my other spy is checking out. Oh, well, Bucharest is quite weak. What about Istanbul? Can you go down to Istanbul for me? Oh, there's the army there. Uh, two armies, I should say. So it'd be, uh, it'd be unwise to go for Bucharest at the moment. But Istanbul could well be a good target to go for. Might even open up another port by the looks of things, so that's another possibility. Uh, Athens is okay, I think. We'll recruit another horse. Cheval Lagar. And end turn again. I don't know if I'll be able to get a battle into this part, but I will try to get one in the next part. At the moment, it's all about rebuilding, replenishing and forming all my armies into an organized um, plan so at least I know where I stand then for future videos um, I'd like it if uh, England or Great Britain I should say sorry if Great Britain and Sweden or Denmark perhaps if one of them could take some of the northern provinces that would certainly help me out a lot in this campaign because I can't really see me Taking the French out all on my own at the moment. I need those Russian territories as well. It'd be good if I could get Russia on my side. If I could make an ally of them. That would certainly uh, help me out. I don't think they'd be willing though. But we could try it. So let's have a look. Russia, open negotiations, peace. Would you want peace? Oh, they got peace. I didn't expect that. That's very kind of you, my Russian friends. Okay, what about... Can't get an alliance. Can't ally with an enemy of your allies. If that makes any sense. We have any technology. I forgot to take regions off these countries. Okay, that's... Uh, that's sorted. I am going to look at Bucharest anyway. Istanbul, sorry. We could probably take Istanbul. At the moment. But... I want to go up here because we can take this Austrian province now instead. 
Looks like we've got a full stack here, plus uh, nearly half a stack. The odd um, thing at the moment. This is where I start to build an army to fear. Or at least I hope. They will fear my large Swiss army. Uh, can we recruit any cannons? Uh, no, we can't. We can get Swiss line infantry. We'll just get regular line infantry. A couple of grenadiers as well. It's going to take ages. Uh, oh, this army, it could be good enough to take that army out. It won't be good enough to take them out. But they are depleted, whereas I'm not, so I could risk it. What can, where can I recruit cannons? Is it Zagreb? Uh, is it Venice? Oh, it's Venice. That's what I need to be recruiting from. How about we take a couple of these off and we go to Venice. What have we got? We've got horse artillery, which is the best. We'll recruit two units of horse artillery and we'll march them up as quickly as possible to reinforce. Um, ugh, don't want to leave Zagreb too undefended. Same with the Balkans. But I think I could probably... Oh, yeah, I know what we could do. We could cause them problems. Let's just march. Oh, this is French territory. Their territory starts here. Let's march north. Let's make them think about something here. So... It's going to inspect at the moment. Might take us another turn or two to actually uh, attack Austria. But if I take them out, that's one less faction to worry about. And plus, I'm currently not at war with Russia now, which is good. It only makes me focus on one faction rather than two. Just want those damn Wuttenbergs to wage war on me. If they can wage war on me, then I can take Wuttenberg before the French take it. Of course, Wuttenberg could wage war on me and the French side with them. If that happens, then I'm well. I am well and truly buggered, so. Um, just come see how it plays out. It takes forever to get for the French turn as well. On France for ages. Oh, here we go. United Kingdom. United Kingdom, who've done absolutely nothing in this campaign. Just sat on their island laughing. What are the Spanish doing? Okay, here we go. United, uh, United, United recruited in the Balkans, which is great. We have these are the units being recruited. The structure we could construct a barracks, but I really don't see the point. Absolutely no point at all. I'm getting a lot of cannons, so I may as well uh, do my all my recruiting over here. Just get a few more units. Just get loads of artillery. That's going to be where I produce all my artillery. I've got nowhere else where I can do it. Um, can my spy do anything oh, yeah, to this no, army? Sure. Can we assassinate? We could try. We could try. Oh, but yeah, we got detected. It's okay, still alive. Oh, I don't want Transylvania to reinforce. Let's go right up to the border on this road. We'll go there. Let's get them to think about me. Hello. Let's go in this town. There we go. I see they're only half. They're all depleted, more or less. It's going to take them a few turns to build up as well. Um, I am recruiting a few units here. I believe I'm recruiting a few in Greece as well. Oh, I think I was. I was. I'm not now. But uh, Greece is easily defendable at the moment. Um, I could move this army out. But I'll, I'll keep them there for another turn and then I'll probably move them out. We need to get start using our armies now. So we'll end turn again. And we'll see if anything interesting happens in this end turn phase. And then I will most probably wrap this video up. There will be other videos to follow. I'm near the end of my Empire Total War campaign now. With the Maratha Confederacy. Probably only a few videos left if all goes to plan. So that will be the slot which will be opened up then for this campaign. But I will do a few videos now just to get... Get things flowing again with this campaign. Try to remember where I am with this campaign. And hopefully try and have some success in this campaign. That's the plan anyway. United Kingdom, Russia. Here we are. 
Spain and just do my head at the moment. Units recruited. Events excelente. Austria didn't decide to attack me, which I'm upset about. I want to take one army out first and then take the others out. Oh, I think I could take them out too. Okay, I will probably end the episode here, but I want to know what you guys think. Should this army attack this Austrian army here, or should I wait until my cannons can arrive from Venice? So that's the question I want answered. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed the return of this great Let's Play. Until next time, goodbye.